Hi guys, I am Dr. Parviz Ahmed Rishi and uh, our topic is, uh, today's topic is uh, rhinosinusitis. R causative factors for allergy for rhinosinusitis are allergic, viral, bacterial, fungal and autoimmune. Acute rhinosinusitis is of less than 12 weeks duration and chronic is greater than 12 weeks duration recurrent is four episodes per year so we remember 12 weeks and rhinosinusitis we associate them and we see less than 12 weeks it is acute greater than 12 chronic so 12 is the key rhinosinusitis we remember 12 15 percent of population is affected by rhinosinusitis in the United Kingdom and Europe. Present says, patient says, my cold won't go away. Persistent symptoms of URTI without improvement after 10 to 14 days or worsening after 5 days. Major nasal congestion, obstruction, purulent discharge, loss of smell, facial pain, air pain or air fullness are the major complaints. <clears throat> Minor complaints, tenderness over sinus area, fever, headache, halitosis, fatigue, lethargy, post nasal drip. What to exclude on the examination? Periorbital swelling, extraocular muscle dysfunction, decreased visual acuity of proptosis, foreign bodies, Concomitant otitis media, CNS complications, polypoid, polypoid changes, and DNS. What to expect on examination? Erythema, swelling, nasal mucosa, mucoporin secretions, tenderness over sinuses. What are differentials? Allergic rhinitis, seasonal perineal, usually just nasal symptoms and usually persistent. So allergic rhinitis is a differential of rhinosinusitis, nasal foreign body, unilateral blockage or discharge, sinonasal tumor, chronic, unilateral blockage, discharge, maybe bloody. Other causes of facial pain, tension, headache, TMG dysfunction or bruxism, neuropathic, Dental pain, hot, cold, and cold drinks and chewing. chewing. Uh, these are other causes of facial pain other than rhinosinusitis. Then we have investigations. We don't need x rays, blood, and swabs. These are not required, only indicated after 12 weeks and Failure to respond to treatment will probably refer at that stage. Rigid endoscopy, coronal CT and allergic testing may be done in the tertiary center. Treat for 12 weeks and again rhinosinusitis 12 weeks. So in case of acute disease we treat it without any investigation and when we say 12 weeks we refer to the tertiary center to the ENT specialist who may go for rigid endoscopy coronal CT and allergic testing consider emergency admission to hospital if symptoms are accompanied by systemic illness swelling cellulites in face signs of CNS involvement orbital involvement <clears throat> Consider urgent ENT referral if persistent unilateral symptoms such as suspecting sinonasal tumor, bullet discharge, non-tender facial pain, facial swelling, unilateral polyp. Consider routine referral to ENT if more than 3 to 4 episodes per year, lasting 10 days with no symptoms between episodes. Management of acute rhinosinusitis, guidelines on map of medicine, 
viral is 200 times more common than bacterial. Viral URTI usually precedes bacterial. Bacterial usually has more severe and prolonged symptoms. Citrap pneumonia, H. influenzae, Moxilla cateralis, first line. In non penicillin allergic, give amoxicillin. In penicillin allergic, give doxy, erythro, clarithro. In second line drug, non penicillin allergic, give co clav. In penicillin allergic, give azithro. More than 70s or fewer than 70s, usually nothing changes. Consider antibiotic in both. And fewer than 70s, wait for 70s first. If it resolves, no need of antibiotic. This is the only difference. Otherwise, in both, we give advice on self care measures. What are those? Paracetamol or ibuprofen, intronasal decongestant for one week maximum, oral decongestant, limited evidence is there, no need, saline douching, warm face pack, 5 to 10 minutes, 3 times a day, may help drainage, maintaining hydration and rest, topical steroid if polypoid change, follow up for complications, compliance, expect improvement after 72 hours with first line antibiotics. Consider change of antibiotic after 72 hours. But fewer than 7 days, don't give antibiotic. Give advice on self major. Follow up for complications and compliance. <clears throat> Recurrent acute episode less than 6 weeks in 52 weeks between episodes. Use second line antibiotic. More than six between episodes, use first line antibiotics. Management of chronic sinusitis. Initial drug therapy for two to three months, duration of topical nasal steroid. Antihistamine if symptoms of allergic etiology perform second prick immunoglobulin assay. Advise re smoking. ANT will usually advocate daily saline douching. So, for two to three months, topical nasal steroid spray. Second, antihistamine. Third, resmoking. Prick test. And saline douching. Five things. Initial treatment fails. Topical nasal steroid drop for four weeks. Returning to citrusoid spray afterwards, consider oral prednisolone, 25 mg, OD for 2 weeks, broad spectrum antibiotic only if prolonged nasal discharge. If no response to above treatment, then refer. Thank you guys. Please like and subscribe and comment. No problem. If your comments are adverse, I love negative comments i love positive comments equally thank you very much